All right, guys. Uh, it's been about two months, almost two months since I posted a video, and it was a long time before I even posted that one before the since the last video. So I thought I would go in and kind of explain a few things and uh, try to get this channel back on track. So anyway, running this channel and running my Facebook group and hosting the tournaments and all that is basically a full-time job on top of an actual full-time job that I already have. And <clears throat> fishing is not supposed to be a stressful thing, but when you're trying to make a business out of it, it's very stressful. And I just, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. I, uh, I was telling, even before the whole pandemic and everything, I was telling some friends of mine that I wanted to take a break, uh, not do tournaments for a couple of months. And yeah, then the pandemic hit and I couldn't do tournaments. They weren't allowing anybody to gather in groups of more than six at one point. Uh, but that's mostly been listed, lifted. Uh, we can start doing tournaments again. In fact, we've done two since it's been lifted. Uh, I think we took like three months off without a tournament. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, running that Facebook group is a lot more stressful than you would think it would be. Because, like, I have a rule in the group that if you don't want to share your secret spot, don't talk about it. Don't tell anybody about your secret spot. And nobody will go there. Like, I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that. Just don't talk about your secret spot and there won't be a problem. But people keep posting their secret spots and then getting mad that people show up there. And it's a tournament group. So, I mean, if, if you don't want 100 people showing up at your spot to fish a tournament, don't talk about your spot. It's simple. And for some reason, that keeps getting twisted into to people thinking that I'm forcing everyone to give up their secret spots. And that's not the case at all. I do not care about your secret spot. I don't need it. I don't need to know it. Nobody needs to know it. Keep your secrets. Just keep your secrets. Like, what is the problem? Why, is, why do people keep attacking me thinking I'm trying to force them to give up their secret spots? It's stupid. Those people are the biggest idiots I've ever met. And, yeah. Uh, anyway, that alone is part of the reason why I wanted to quit basically I didn't want to host the tournaments anymore I didn't want to run the group anymore and yeah right now I'm editing a clip video because even when I was furloughed from work I was out of work for like four months and I had all the time in the world to go fishing I didn't didn't go fishing I just didn't feel like it, it fishing is not supposed to be stressful and you know people are threatening me and stuff because I told them not to talk about their secret spots it's stupid and yeah and editing videos takes a lot out of me as well I really I don't really enjoy editing videos anymore I used to now I, I, I like guys like John B who were well known for their editing skills I always kind of look down on them like for now because like he got so big he doesn't even edit his own videos anymore now I understand why because it, it it's it takes a lot out of you editing these videos all the time. And at one point in time, I was doing one video every single day. And then it was three videos a week. Now it's one a week. Or, well, it was one a week. And now it's been, like, maybe one a month. So, yeah, I'm trying to get back into it. I want to make it fun like it used to be. And <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out ways to eliminate all the stress besides blocking people on Facebook. Uh... So, yeah, anyway, uh, this video is going to be clips of me and probably mostly Greg fishing around uh, town. And I think one of the times we went to the Llano River in Junction. I want to say it was Junction. I don't, I don't remember where we went. It's been a while. But that was all over the pandemic and everything. Some of these are old clips from last year even. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just something to get out there because I haven't posted a video in a while and my channel's getting dangerously close to being demonetized again because there hasn't been any activity. So, uh, yeah. And if you're interested in fishing bank tournaments, bank fishing tournaments where nobody has a boat, nobody can afford boats, really, that's the reason we do it, uh, look it up on uh, Facebook, the San Antonio Bank Fishing Club. So, uh, hopefully you enjoy these clips and my rant didn't turn you off from 
joining the Facebook group because yeah, most of those people are gone now, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, look, a Nutria. That's awesome. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's straight across from me. It looks just like a beaver. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, is it a bass too? Uh-huh. Dang. Uh, and it's not a quad. Choke it. <laughs> Tiny little swim bait. Jerk bait. Jerk bait, swim bait. <laughs> I got it, so. Oh, he oh. slipped off. <laughs> Tilapia. Yeah, big one too. Not as big as the ones downtown, but that was a. Uh, it's pretty decent. Yeah, that'd be over a pound though. Yeah. Straighten my hook a little bit. <laughs> well, I, well. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't say anything about that. No, not the crank. Oh, already first cast. I guess there are fish right here. It's a little bit better. Is he on? He's young. Got him. Little one. Little quad. Squad. Yeah. Have a tag on him. Another tag. Gonna, I know they're gonna do it this year. I uh, hmm. don't see any tag. Where would the tag be? Up Underneath. here on the fence. Yeah. Because uh, they uh, they do that almost every year. You tag him. Well, they tag them, you cut off the tag, and you call that number, and uh, they give you like free fishing gear. Yeah. <laughs> Good looking little fish. Mm -hmm. Got him. There's a school hanging out right there. Oh, I thought he came off. Okay. Another guad. Yeah. You know where this, you see the shallowest point right here? There's like a, almost an island right here. They're just on the other side of that. There's a school of them hanging out there. Take it, take it, take it. That one. There we go. Saw him come running out of the brush for it. Stay on, not very big. It's two people on the board so far. Come up here where the ground is flat. I can get a picture of him. does not want to stay still for the photo. They never do. This one is like nine and a half inches. Oh, there we go. Had one come up and grab it right there. Little quad.
Got a little one there. Oh, and he slipped off. I don't know how they're slipping off of this. It's got the barb on it. I saw a fish. <laughs> it looks like it's actually got some depth. Yep, <laughs> first cast. Yep. Almost instant. Little fat guy, too. There we go. It's a little bit better than what I've caught so far. <laughs> it's a fat little one. Got him. Saw that one come up and grab it. And twice. First time he spit it. This time I was able to get him. Not a very big one, but you know. I think in this downtown tournament, this is what's gonna win it. You can get a couple of these. So there we go. I don't know though, man. I might actually cook and eat the neck from now on. I never really did pay attention to it, but this dude at work made some and it was like barbacoa. Is it? No, the, uh, the neck, turkey neck. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, got him. Oh, fat one. Yeah, probably the egg. Mm-hmm. Well, we got the skunk out the boat. <laughs> or we got the skunk off the bank <laughs> these are good hooks but they're hard to get out he hit it but I wasn't sure and then like I saw it stopped and after I stopped he hit it again yeah There you go.